Hello, Pisces. How are you going? This is a shadow reading for you. Every month I'll be doing a general read at the beginning of the month. And in the middle of the month, I'm going to be doing a shadow reading for you. Um, it's part of growth, part of healing, that we all need to face the shadows. And um, no one said it's pretty, but it's definitely worth it. So that's what I'm doing. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome in. If this helps you, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And if you're a return um, friend, I was going to say viewer, but no, if you're a return friend, thanks for coming. I know you're busy, so I appreciate you fitting it in. So, Pisces. What can we learn in January? At the bottom of the deck, ta-da, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Lovely. I love this. Beautiful. All right, I'll just run through these. Five of Wands, I will come back and go through them with you. Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Moon, Four of Wands, Six of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Okay, so the current situation is a bit of internal to and fro. Um, the foundation of the situation is the moon, so maybe there's a bit of what don't I know. I know I don't know something. There's something being hidden, something I'm not aware of yet, but I just kind of have this niggle, this feeling that it's there. Um, you are currently okay with taking some time out, um, thinking things through, not, not acting too rashly or without really looking at all sides. This to me is taking yourself out of the picture. It's removing yourself from what's going on so that you can see things more clearly. What's blocking you is the Three of Pentacles. Now in this card you can see the eggs. Um, it might have something to do with family or someone from your past. Someone you feel um, either is or was part of the tribe, part of your your collective, your group, um, part of the people you were responsible for. But it's not working. Whatever it is, something's not working. And that's why you're needing to take time out to process what isn't working. And how you can how you can come back and grow things. See how in this card the turtles are all facing different directions? It's like you want to bring them all back to the nest.
recently or in the past, not even recently, in the past you were a solid unit. You were a, a, you were a solid family. Families can be all different things, but, but in the past you were a family, you were a tribe. And this is why the disruption is really leaving you rattled at the moment. And the, un, the, the thing that the... The thing you're not aware of. And I th it's something in you. You know there's something deep. This is your, your card. You know there's something deep and, and you can't quite um, shine a light on it yet. And that's what's causing everything because someone from your past is involved. Could be a child. But they're feeling that, that, you know, the children have left the nest. Maybe this is an empty nest syndrome symptom. No, situation. There's a lot of family cards around and the, the overall is the Ten of Pentacles, which is the family card. Um, so maybe they're off doing what they dream of and you're struggling with that. Coming up is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is emotional maturity but can also be very icy little bit cold, little bit chilly. Um, be careful if we're facing our shadow side, be careful that that's not how you become because sometimes when we when we feel feel abandoned, um, we can put up a chilly wall, you know, oh, I'm fine, don't worry about me. It's almost passive-aggressive and can be passive-aggressive. There's a lot of fours in here. In fact, they're all here. All fours are here. That's really interesting. So... It's family, it's security. This is what we're talking about. What you're not seeing, what you're, you know, you're really not seeing is that you're so busy focusing on what you've lost that you, you're you not even looking up to see what you've got to gain and how great it is and how everything happens in a cycle. And this is your turn to come back up and grab what the next great thing that's on offer. This is what you're not seeing. You're not seeing what's, come, what's available to you because you're so busy focusing on what you've lost. And that's a main thing to overcome. Whatever this Five of Wands is, you're getting the chance with the Ten of Wands to put it down. You're being asked to put this down. It could be, yeah, it could be a bit of martyrdom. See the cross in the middle? Remember that this is a shadow reading. It's not a judgment. It's not an accusation. It's a we all have to face our not so nice parts and in order to face them and grow out of them we have to acknowledge them so you know everybody has to do it if they want to grow maybe the martyrdom this is a very empty nest syndrome for whoever's going through it maybe it's because of covid and everybody's staying where they are or it could be that you have actually, all your children have actually left and gone in their own direction. And this is what you need to overcome, wanting to 
them to come back and only focusing on what you had and where it's gone. This is your energy. And I said it's about taking time out, but if you look at it, your energy is all about sleeping in a cave with your family and not acknowledging the outside world, not seeing what's going on and not opening your eyes to it. The advice is the Four of Pentacles. Now that talks about hanging on too tight, not letting go. And so the advice is to let it go. And if you look at this card, the, the beauty of the swan and, and the sun is in a rock frame. There's no moving it. There's no... You can't pick that up and move it. So the advice is to break the frame. Break the frame and let lives go where they're supposed to go and paths move in their own paths. doesn't mean, in fact, what I've discovered is the more that people hang on, especially mothers, no offence, um, mothers tend to hang on to their children for fear of losing them, for fear of them going and finding their own way and, and never turning back and never seeing, so, you know, just being one of those forgotten parents. What I've discovered is that the more they hang on, the more the children try to pull away. And the ones that stay, um, you usually do it because they feel obligated, not because they want to. And how awful is that? You want your kids to want to. Um, so it's like when you have something, set it free. And if it comes back, it's yours. And if it doesn't, it never was. This is part of the growing, is letting go it's not not caring. It's not not loving. It's not not accepting. It's not not giving. It's not attaching. It's letting them go and letting them do what their thing is and, and just being there for them when they need you because that's your job. Raise independent people and let them raise their own independent people. The outcome is this hermit card. Now, it can sound a bit, that's who I'm going to become. I'm going to become a crazy old cat lady who nobody loves and nobody visits and all of this, which is your choice. Ultimately, it's your choice. However, the hermit card talks about choosing this choosing to take time for yourself and choosing to go within and seek your own wisdom from within and your own worth from within and not needing other people to give it to you. It's quite beautiful. This will never, ever go away. It can't. You've, you've had it. You've got it. You've got the memories of it. No one can ever take that away from you. But your choices can determine how it continues. All right, my loves, that's a big one. That's a big shadow read. That's a big shadow read. But that's what we're here for. That's what we're here to do, is to grow and change and discover. And go through. I love the fact that there's a lot of bears in this reading. And a friend of mine talked about um, the dark night of the soul or difficulty and change as being a bear hunt. That's the old book 
we're going on a bear hunt. You can't go around it, you can't go over it, you can't go under it, you've got to go through it. And then you get to the other side. Can we have one last card for Pisces, please? Advice for Pisces, please. The Seven Sisters. Hang on. Circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. Family. Now, this could be spiritual sisterhood, this could be a community, this could be a support group, this could be finding your new tribe. And just remember, that your identity isn't what you do, it's who you are, okay, at your core, who you are at your core. My love lots, let me know how this goes for you, I'll talk to you soon.